This video is brought to you by Clusterfix, and we're going to demonstrate the uh, some basic testing and diagnostic info to help troubleshoot your uh, Ford PSOM style instrument clusters. This is just a speedometer head, which is found in the 92 to 97 Ford trucks, vans, and Broncos, and some of the RVs as well with the Ford chassis. Um, and just going to demonstrate some of the testing procedures used to troubleshoot these and a few things to go through. We get lots of emails, phone calls, how to test these, how to find out whether or not the problem is in the PSOM or not. Um, one of the problems is the um, loss of speedometer and odometer. If that is the case, then the first thing you want to do is check fuses 8 and 18. Make sure those fuses are good. They supply power to terminals one and three of the PSOM head connector, and ground is pin two. Um, if you have good fuses, then the problem could be in the PSOM, as long as your wiring is good. These things have problems like corrosive damage, short circuit damage, detachment issues, and that can cause a loss of power to these. And so you, would, you can send it in for repairs. We also offer board exchanges which we would send you a reman piece on board with your mileage and speedometer calibration code and real quick to demonstrate how to get that information mileage of course just lights up as long as your cluster works if it don't um, then you're not going to be able to get your calibration code unless you already know it but this is a procedure if you do know it or, or if your um, your odometer does light up you turn your ignition off Hold the reset button in, turn the ignition on, the gauge needle will sweep, and it'll say something like E086 or E03, and you hit it again, and it'll give you a number and a calibration code. So this one is 972, um, and that's the number that we need to program into the replacement unit. If you're sending the entire cluster in, we don't need none of that information. Um, it's all stored in there, and we'll get that. But um, one of the problems these have is probably the one of the main problems these are sent in for is for harsh shifting conditions in the automatic transmissions and these rely on a VSS input from the differential and it gives us a sine wave input and puts a square wave output to the PCM. If the PCM does not see um, input from the PSOM you will have a harsh shifting transmission if you have a manual transmission, you'll still have problems with like um, stumble, heart, um, stalling, um, rough idle, um, because the PCM does not know what to run the injectors at if it's not seeing a speed signal coming in. So what we do first, if we're suspecting a speed signal input problem, we, we want to check the VSS input, and you'll check the... Uh, like the green wire with a black stripe um, from the VSS and I'm using a lab scope that's the best way to do it is to get the a lab scope and I'll go this is just a snap-on Vantage an older one go to the high speed frequency and the waveform test and you're gonna have a nice pattern like that if your VSS is good um, if, you, if it's not good, you could have a bad VSS, which is, happens quite a bit. And on these, it's very important to only use factory Ford VSS sensors because the aftermarket, uh, we have found to, um, from customers' responses that they continually cause problems. The um, tolerances are just not the same. They're just, they just don't work as good. Um, we've heard this over and over, so we always tell people start with a factory VSS if you have a signal problem. You should have a nice clean pattern. If you don't have a nice clean pattern or if there's dropouts or glitches in there, you could have a problem with a, a chip tone ring. If you've got a pattern coming up and there's a, a bad spot in it, you could have a chip tone ring. Um, I'm checking this one, of course, at the PSOM head. Um, if you're losing it somewhere along the way, look along the frame rail for also for damaged wiring. Um, we've seen where rodents have chewed through the wires, road debris gets in there, uh, wrapped around the drive line, damages wires. Um, so this is the input from the VSS. Should look like that. 
this is a sine wave input and the other um, the output I'm checking the gray wire with the black stripe at the PSOM and it's a different kind of a uh, signal it's a square wave so you got to back out go to a lower frequency and you should have a square wave output from your sensor Just switching things over so if you've got a bad pattern you got a good pattern coming in or you have a missing pattern going out then that's going to create a problem and that's what we see most of you'll have a good pattern coming in but you'll have a bad pattern going out and it may be there sometimes but you may be losing it at other times um, this is a nice clean pattern if your patterns shallower then that is a problem it's got to be this size right here that's a good pattern and if it's dropping out on you most of the time it'll start with dropping out when it gets hot when things heat up um, so you should have a good output pattern and if that's the case then um, you need to send it in if you're losing the pattern or get a board exchange because that will cause the problems discussed um, there is a lot of information too much to include in the video you can visit our website at clusterfix.com or net and there's a lot of information on there um, kind of some test information and what you would do is go to the top of the page where it says search repairs click on that enter in your your make model and from there you can pull up the information on that and um, determine there's a lot more things that can go wrong in there these are the main things this is a little bit of information to get you started and help you determine what you need to do next if, if the problem is in the piece on head or if the problem is in the wiring or somewhere else once again our uh, our phone number is um, 509 366-9009 or you can visit our website at clusterfix.net or .com and get some information that you need to help you figure out the problem that you're having with yours. Thank you very much.